Well, the British military has begun preparations for the coronation of King Charles. More than 60 aircraft, including a Lancaster bomber, are rehearsing the flight path and formation for the historic day. It can't be overstated how rare it is to see this. Aircraft so close together and in formation. Right, approach plan at 836, 1100 feet, 1019, standard double tree. It takes extraordinary focus. This is the view from the C-130 Hercules. We're flying at a speed of 500 miles per hour in what is a very impressive and carefully choreographed formation. There are aircraft in front of us, there are aircraft behind us. On the 6th of May, they'll be joined by some 60 other aircraft from across the armed forces. The last time we saw an aerial procession like it was for the late Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Jim led that fly past. He's now all too aware of the unique opportunity this time. We are used to pressure, yes. Maybe slightly different pressures on ops, etc. Uh, but I'd like to think we've, we've been conditioned uh, to, uh, to deliver and uh, we're excited to do so. And this is the goal. A six minute fly past above their new commander in chief and newly crowned king who watch with members of the royal family from the balcony of Buckingham Palace and tens of thousands of people who are expected to flood the mall. A sight 93 year old squadron leader Terence remembers so clearly from Coronation Day 1953 as he did exactly that. It was exhilarating, but not as exhilarating as uh, when we finally landed and um, got, got our overalls off and someone shouted, bars open, and that, we, we're gone. This was the one and only rehearsal for all those involved. In just under two weeks' time, it'll be for real, and they too are likely to never forget it. Ashna Harinag, Sky News, at RAF Bryce Morton.